Hello, this is the Anglophile Channel coming to you from the 2014 Britannia Awards. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Welcome. This is the Anglophile Channel. Oh, great. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Welcome to the BAFTA LA Britannia much. Awards. You did a campaign for Burberry. Do you like it? Well. Yes, absolutely. Okay. It's a, theme going, it's a theme going on. We're all into Britannia. So you did a Burberry campaign with Miss Emma Watson, who's being honored tonight. What was that like for you? Uh, surprising, you know, shocking. I, I didn't really know why they asked me. Um, it was the most amazing phrase. Well, I'd been out of drama school for about three and a half months or something, and so so I don't know how they even knew I existed. And my agent said, "How do you know he's, he exists?" And I think the quote was, "We're not at liberty to disclose our sources." And you kind of go, "Well, I've got to do this. I need to go to Burberry HQ." So it was it, it was amazing, you know. And uh, it's not something that I've done before modeling. It's not something I've done since, but. Emma was great, Douglas was great, the whole the whole two days was an experience and one that, you know, I, I enjoyed very much. There's so many brilliant performances coming out of the UK this year. Do you have any favorites? Well, to be honest, I've been working a lot this year, so I haven't really been able to catch up, you know. I'll have to, um, I've got a little bit of time off when I go back home, so I'll, I'll probably go and sit myself in a dark room and ca keep up to date, you know. But there's, there's a lot of great actors and, uh, you know, it's inspiring at the moment, you know. And do you have artists that you look up to? Yeah, I've, I mean, you always do. You always have people that instinctively you kind of go, you know, that's my cup of tea. And I've been looking up to work with some. I mean, Chiwetel Ejiofor was one of the greatest people I've ever been in a room with, you know. And I was looking, he directed me in a short film and he's a phenomenal director. As well. So, you know, to have the chance to work with people of that quality and that intelligence and, and who also have a comment that they want to make through their work. They're not just there to, to make something else. They, 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 uh, they have a strategy about what, what it is they're trying to communicate. And that's when I find it the most inspiring. And someone asked me the question before, who inspired me when I was young? And the first face I always see is Pete Postlethwaite, you know? Not just for his ability as an actor, but also for the fantastic material he chose. You know, it's incredible. How about a younger import? One of the greatest British imports right now is Benedict Cumberbatch. What do you, what do you think of him? Well, ben yeah, Benedict drinks in my local pub, so uh, so I met Benedict years ago. But uh, he, you know, again, he's he's an, another actor who's makes intelligent choices not only in his performances but also in the material he chooses. I watched the uh, trailer for the Imitation Game today, and it looks fantastic, you know. And I, and I think it, it, what I like about Benedict is again he surprises you, and that's all you can ask for an actor just to keep you on the toes, you know, not do the same thing every time. And yeah, you know, Benedict's great as are many, many others. So tell us about the game. Yeah, the game is set in 1972. It's um, a spy drama all about uh, MI5, you know, and there's, there's this investigation that seems relatively low level that my character Joe gets given. And Joe's very much at loggerheads with himself. He's a broken man, he's had a dark past. And, he, and he, a year before, the woman he's fallen in love with, the first woman he's ever fallen in love with, uh, was killed in front of him and, it, and, he, and it, was a, it was a trap and he's been sent back to MI5. And he gets this low-level operation and things start to unravel. And at the same time as it being a spy thriller, it's also very much a psychological thriller. It's a character-led piece and it's the most amazing character I've had in a long time. So, very exciting. Well, we can't wait for many more seasons to come with the game. Good luck to you. Lovely.